welcome to QLab. Today we're going to be dissecting a tulip. So many of you enjoyed the daffodil video and a few people, notably my mother, have asked me to dissect a tulip. If you want to follow along, everything you need is in the description box. Let's get started. So I've got these two beautiful tulip flowers here and I'm going to show us two ways to dissect this flower. We'll start with a really simple one, though it is quite complicated to achieve really well. So you need a very, very sharp knife because we have to cut through this very cleanly. And the way I'm going to do it is along this petal here, and we're just going to go see straight down the plant. And if I cut straight through, can finish cutting through. Lovely. What we can do is we can just open it up and have the two sides of the tulip. Oh, look at the pattern on these beautiful petals. And we can see quite a lot of features straight away. So the first thing we can see, and I can use this little magnifying glass to help us, is this very tall section going straight up the middle and that's collectively called the pistil and it's the female reproductive organs of the plant. At the top you've got the, st the stigma, that's where the pollen can collect and then it travels down this, the style, to the ovary which is just in here and I think I've actually cut it, it's inside this section and I've cut quite badly through it. We can also see the petals, and we'll go into a little bit of detail about the petals in the second dissection. But also there are these little fluffy sections here. And if I get, there's a good one, you can see all the pollen on these. Now these are the male reproductive parts of the plant. And they're called stamen. And this bit that's covered in all the pollen, that's called an anther. So let's have a little bit more in detail with the other flower. So here we have another of those tulip flowers. They are beautiful, really pretty. I love this type of tulip. It's that lovely line there. What we're going to do first is we're going to remove these three outer petals. And they're not actually called petals, if you want the proper name. These are the sepals. And they protect the flower as it's just a little bud, but they're indistinguishable from petals. You can't tell the difference. And there's three of them on this one. So I'm just going to peel them off with my fingers. There's one. Remember, these are all the outer ones. Two. I'm getting some pollen on my fingers. There's lots of pollen in this plant. Oh, let's bring those down a little bit so we can see them. And there's the third one. I had to collect these tulips. It's been raining a lot outside. So they're the three sepals. They protect these inner petals around the flower. And these, these are true petals. Look how pretty they are. So we'll take the inner petals off. There's one. Two, three, and there's the inside, the tulip. Now there's something really interesting I want to point out about these petals. I've been saying how pretty they are. Well, that's not just for our benefit, though we do enjoy pretty flowers a lot. They attract pollinators into the flower so that they can rub up against the stamen, pick up pollen, and transport it from flower to flower. But these also protect the flower from the elements. They protect this very delicate machinery from the elements. And there's something that we're going to do a little experiment with this in a moment. But before we do that, 
we can separate, oh, let's make sure we can see what we do. We can separate out the stamen. So we can take one off and look how much pollen is on those anthers. It's absolutely loaded with pollen. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We notice the symmetry. Three sepals, three petals, six stamen. And notice on the stamen, remember that where the pollen is, that's called the anther. But there's also this filament. It's a filament, and that creates the whole stamen, the filament and the anther. Now what we're left with is we've got a section of stem, but we've got the female reproductive part of the plant. The stigma on top, and it's a little bit sticky, and the pollen is transported down this section, which is called the style, to the ovary. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to use the knife we used before. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Dropping things everywhere. And we're just going to cut very neatly through this section. Ooh. And we can see that it's got an inner filament inside. Maybe easier to see on this half. It's a filament running up the inside. And in there are the un the non-fertilized seeds. If I hold that over there, you can see just a few of the little seeds. They're very tiny. They're waiting to be fertilized. So this is the ovary of the plant. So let's put this all together. Oh no, there's a little experiment I wanted to do first. Now these petals, they are remarkably good at preventing water adhering to them. And we call that hydrophobic. It means something that doesn't like water. Hydro for water and phobic for hates. And when I put a little bit of water on there, Ooh, let's try and get just one drop. Can you see it just sits on the surface? It doesn't start to go into the plant. And that's because of the surface, the, the nanostructure. It's so tiny we can't see it with our eyes. But the surface of this leaf allows us to deposit water and it will just hold there. Oh, there's one that slipped off. Can you see it? Because the nanostructure of the petal won't allow the water to infiltrate or get into that petal. Look at all that water on there. <laughs> Could make pretty patterns with it. I thought that was a really interesting thing to see, especially as I had to collect these while it was raining. And all I have to do is lift it up and give it a shake and they come off. And there's the water that I put on. So there we have it. Those sepals that were protecting the outside of the flower. Those petals protecting the inside of that flower. And all of this lovely colour to attract insects in. And then we had the stamen, which you've got the filament, and the anther covered in pollen. It's the male reproductive organ of the plant. And the, the um, pistil, which is the female reproductive organ of the plant, with a top stigma that's often sticky, so that pollen will stick onto it. And then the style down which the pollen will um, transfer to the ovary, where there are little seeds inside ready to be fertilized and of course there's a bit of stem section here as well i hope you enjoyed that now if there's any science videos you'd like me to have a go at making or have a look into put them down in the comments below because 
I'd like to hear what your ideas are. And if you enjoyed this, I might make a series on dissecting lots of different flowers. If you haven't seen the daffodil video, I'll put a link in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.